Hello, my name is Estelle Eatons, and I am a retired teacher slash administrator of District 65. I was one of the pilgrims that Dr. Rhodes hired to open up Timber Ridge. I say pilgrims because there were 50 teachers that interviewed and only 20 teachers were chosen to open Timber Ridge. Hello, my name is Cheryl Cherry Hill and I was an eighth grade teacher at Timber Ridge Magnet School under the direction of Dr. Bessie Rhodes. I knew Dr. Rhodes as an outstanding educator, a fearless leader of her staff, and a dedicated professional. I had the privilege in being a fifth grade teacher when Timber Ridge Magnus School opened for the first time in 1995-96 school year. Dr. Bessie Rhodes, the trailblazer. Hello, my name is Felicia Reyes-Portner. I'm a retired teacher from District 65. I was one of the original teachers hired by Dr. Bessie Rhodes to be a second grade teacher when Timber Ridge reopened for the 1995-96 school year. Hi, my name is Pat Nelson. I had the great fortune to work with Dr. Rhodes at Timber Ridge Magnet School from 1995 until she retired. Dr. Rhodes was one of my all-time heroes. She was a dynamo with a positive can-do attitude who met challenges head on. She was also forward thinking. She tried to create a unique learning environment. Hi, my name is Marie Paul Carpenter. I'm a speech language pathologist in District 65. I met Dr. Rhodes when I was hired to work at Timber Ridge School back in 1995. That was the year that the school reopened. She was hired to be the new principal there. I remember when she first walked into our first meeting. She walked in with confidence, purpose, and poise. Over time, we saw an educator who had a heart for learning and leading at the same time. I learned so much from her. Lessons like being purposeful in what you say and do. Take a stand on what you believe is right and do something about it. Be innovative, creative, and thoughtful in your thinking. Respect the opinions of others, even if you don't agree with them. Work hard, be compassionate. Bessie May Lasley was born in 1935 in Adair County, Kentucky. It was a place that her family had lived in since at least the 1840s when her grandmother Anna was born as an enslaved person. Her father was a teacher for the school board and was known as a great preacher. Bessie had three brothers and sisters. At 16, she went to Kentucky State College and finished her degree in music education at the age of 19. By the age of 20, she received a master's from Iowa State University. She moved to Chicago because it fascinated her and her dad was a White Sox fan. She came to Evanston in 1962 and helped open the new Martin Luther King Jr. Lab School as a kindergarten teacher. She continued her own education and received a doctorate from Northwestern University. She played many roles in Evanston and was director of curriculum bringing innovative programs to the district. When, in 1995, she was appointed principal of the new Timber Ridge Magnet School. The school had been used as a teacher center and a mortuary, but because the school district was trying to balance out the schools and had to mandate to pull students from the Northwest and Southeast Evanston, she went out and walked door to door to make this a special school, and special it was. Hi, I'm Rena Lewin. I was one of the original teachers at Timber Ridge Magnus School, and I was also an original teacher of Keene Lab Elementary School. Um, I, Dr. Rhodes was my team leader when I came to teach in Evanston in 1967. And for the two years before I started teaching, she had been the director of the very successful experimental kindergarten at the old Foster School. Until that time, Foster School was the school of all black neighborhood children. The kindergarten brought both black and white children together from all over Evanston. The successful kindergarten led to the founding of the District 65 Laboratory School, later known as the Martin Luther King Laboratory School. Dr. Rose was an outstanding teacher and leader. Dr. Rhodes was always an administrator that would do any duty a teacher would do. I remember every day after school, she would go to the buses and do bus duty 
while she instructed teachers to stay in their rooms with their students to close the day out, which seemed very important to her. She also let students choose a name for Timber Ridge, um, and I say a nickname or a mascot name. All students from kindergarten through eighth grade got to vote, and Rockets was the name that was chosen that represents the school today. More personally, I learned that Dr. Rose was funny. She had a great laugh and loved high heels and snacks. When the District 65 Board of Education decided to reopen Timber Ridge School as a magnet school K through eight, they called on Dr. Bessie Rhodes to serve as principal. Dr. Rhodes was well known and respected in the Everston Skokie school community and the community at large as an outstanding leader in education, having served in several key leadership positions in District 65. In the reopening of Timber Ridge, Dr. Rhodes had the very rare opportunity to, to select her entire staff and faculty which made Timber Ridge very special and unique. It was indeed an honor to work for her. Dr. Rose encouraged input and participation from all. Everyone had a voice and all were committed to Timber Ridge vision and mission. Hi, my name is Kate Johnson Spector. Our son entered third grade when Dr. Rhodes greeted every single child who arrived that opening morning in the fall of 1995. Our second son came the following year as a kindergartner. Both boys graduated from eighth grade. Dr. Rhodes created a dynamic team of teachers who shared the same vision. It was a small school that felt like a family. We were getting a new school up and running. That first year, Dr. Rhodes informed us there would be no Halloween parade or parties. What? Where we all came from in District 65, we got our Halloween party on. Dr. Rhodes kindly explained that Halloween, in reality, lasted the entire month of October. The excitement leading up to the annual event took attention away from important teaching and learning time. Even though we were grumpy about this at the time, Dr. Rhodes was right. We needed to develop a sports program, a parent-teacher association, orchestra and band and arts programs. Dr. Rhodes said, do it. She, along with her faculty, implemented the Character Counts program that would be adopted by other schools in District 65. She also secured funding from a Pritzker family member for our tech lab. Dr. Rhodes ensured our eighth grade graduation celebrations were warm and personal. Dr. Bessie Rhodes was a presence. All she had to do was step out in the hallway from her office if children or parents were being noisy. Everyone settled right down. She was our CEO and she had the wardrobe to go with it. She dressed like an executive in a professional suit and tasteful heels. She set the tone and we all followed. We wanted to be better. She was kind to all. She always supported her faculty, and with the parents, she was gracious, polite, and firm. Once, my husband and I consulted with Dr. Rhodes in her office about our son, who was having some sort of challenge with this classroom teacher, and I asked her what we should do. She said to me, praise him, praise that child. And at that moment, I saw the soft maternal side of Bessie Rhodes. That got me teary, and her words and counsel have stayed with me all of these years. Thank you for this opportunity to share my memories of the inspiring Dr. Bessie Rhodes. She used to stand in the entrance foyer of the school every morning and greet everyone by name with a smile and words of encouragement. And this was creating a warm in learning environment for our students. As a result, we as a Timber Ridge family felt committed to working hard, giving our best. And this was a true testament 
of her effectiveness and leadership and her infectious personality. The opening of the school under the leadership of Dr. Rhodes was an exciting time for all of us. I have many memories of those years, but one of my fondest is from our first year at Timber Ridge. She asked several teachers to volunteer to attend an evening PTA meeting to field questions from parents regarding curriculum. I was one of the teachers who volunteered. It was a great night and so much was accomplished. The following day, we were overwhelmed when she sent flowers to the classrooms of the teachers who volunteered. She was so appreciative to us for giving our time and expertise. I realized in that small gesture just how much she respected teachers. She implemented the newly developed K-8 magnet concept at Timber Ridge with the spirit of a world explorer on a creative journey. And we eagerly followed her into this adventure because we, she enthusiastically encouraged our input and creativity while guiding our energy with a calm professional spirit. Dr. Rhodes was an advocate for children, parents, and teachers alike. And she encouraged us all to work hard and pursue excellence and always, always embrace kindness. She was always a shining example of these values that she encouraged in all of us. The days were full with an unwavering commitment to the academic success of all children. And the results were amazing. Dr. Rhodes believed in us. She believed in us and we believed in Dr. Bessie Rose, the trailblazer, the trailblazer who led Timber Ridge School. She was an amazing leader. Above all, Dr. Rhodes was a strong advocate for students and teachers and believed engaging parents was central to keeping them informed and involved. It was an honor to work with Dr. Bessie Rhodes. I am so proud that the school you attend is named in her memory. She truly loved and supported our student, teacher, and parent community, and me. She saw my strengths and helped me develop as an educator. I will always remember her many words of encouragement and advice. Now, whenever I come to your school, I'm reminded of her and what kind of educator I continue to want to be. Always remember that your school is named after an amazing woman and educator who always gave her best and expected the best from all of us. Remember, honor her legacy by giving your best in what you learn and how you carry yourself. I do hope you all enjoy your school year. Dr. Rhodes served as principal for four years but the legacy that she left behind from her students to her teachers to Evanstonians has been so strong that in 2005, there was a petition to rename the school in her honor. We are all honored to be a part of her school and we ask what is our legacy to carry forward. Mm -hmm.